If you want to learn how to create this exact Christmas animation that you can customize, this video is for you. I will be going through step by step how to do this on DaVinci Resolve 18 for free. The first thing that you will need to do before even heading into DaVinci Resolve is to download all the files that you will be using for this animation. Since I already have all my files pre-downloaded, I'm just going to go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve. If you would like to use any of the stuff I'm using for this tutorial, the link to all of the files are down in the description below. Now once you have it open, before you even import your files, click on the settings in the bottom right of your screen and make sure you change your timeline resolution to 1920 by 1080 HD. Make sure your timeline frame rate is set at 60 so it can be as smooth as possible. You can go ahead and scroll all the way down at retime process, make sure it's set at nearest motion estimated mode make sure it's set at standard and motion range put it at medium and then you can go ahead and save these settings go ahead to the edit bar and now you can import all your files so now once you have imported all the files you can go ahead and drag the green background into the timeline just like that so now what you want to do you want to import the green background and drag and drop it onto the timeline right above the green layer just like that and then you can drag it out by extending it just like that so it reaches the end and you don't want it in the middle unless you do but me personally i'm going to move it to the left just like that move it a little bit down there there we go and now you want to go ahead and grab your gifts and put it above the christmas tree just like that it's too big so you want to zoom it out and then just reposition it lower the x and y axes just like that and now once again drag the clip to the end of the timeline so you want to do the same process with the other gift drag and drop it onto the timeline zoom it out and this time you can click this little transform and just move it like that if you want to make it easier same thing there we go i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the santa like that and we're gonna move it right about there somewhere there zoom it out make sure to save it by pressing ctrl s and it should save so what we're gonna do for the animation part is we're gonna put this to zero first we're gonna put the zoom at zero and now we're gonna keyframe the zoom we're gonna go one second into the clip you can use the arrow keys once again to make it easier and then we're gonna switch the zoom back to 0.5 just like that if the clip is laggy for you, what you can do is you can go to playback over here and for timeline proxy resolution, you can select quarter and then for the render cache, you can make it smart so it's more smoother and then you just have to wait for the red bar to fully load and you should be good. So this is what we have so far. It's just a nice zoom out. We're going to be adding transitions, all of that stuff later after we get the simple animations down. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so before we add the lights onto the animation, and the text we're gonna want to animate the Christmas trees and add the transitions so what we're gonna do is for the Christmas tree first okay so we're gonna make it start bring it out of frame just like that we're gonna hide that for a second so we can see it put it like that and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keyframe the position we're gonna go to let's just go to a second and then we're gonna bring it back up so it was negative nine just type that in there we go it's time the same as the santa so it looks a little bit better but what we're gonna do we're gonna animate the gift as well so we're gonna head over here we're gonna make the position somewhere like that where you cannot see it on screen we're gonna keyframe it go one second into the clip just like that and change it back to negative 448 so once we have done that we're gonna now animate this gift on the right side but this time we're gonna do it a little different Instead of it coming out of the bottom, we're going to make it come out from the side. We're going to move it out of the way by moving the X axis so it's out of the screen. And then we're going to keyframe the position. We're going to go one second in. And then we change the X position back to 686, just like that. After that's all done, it should look something similar to this. Again, don't mind the lag. Now we're going to add some video transitions to the start of each of the images so what we're gonna do we're gonna add a blur dissolve to each and every one so we'll start out with the santa first we'll make it 0.5 and we'll change the frames to 25 
and we're going to do the same thing what we can do to make the process go faster we can zoom in and we can click alt on our screen make sure you hold it down and just drag it and drop it at the bottom clip just like that and just do the same thing for every other one drag and drop it just like that and except for the background of course so once you let it render it should look a little like this it's a little smooth dissolve in and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add text so what you want to do you want to head over to the left side of your screen click titles and then drag in the custom text if you drag in the text that's fine but there will be less features involved in that so the custom text is much better then we're gonna go ahead and edit the text you can type in whatever you want but for this one I'll just type in Merry Christmas and then we're gonna scroll down we, you can change the font to whatever you like for this example I'm gonna change it to Kashan script it should be a default in DaVinci Resolve so there shouldn't be a problem with it but you can import your own text file in here if you'd like okay so we can change the colors by going to the shading so we're on the first element which is the white color we can scroll down we can change it to whatever you'd like you can do a solid color you can do an image and you can do gradient we'll do a gradient so instead of the black we'll add a red and then instead of the white we can add a green and then what we're gonna do we're gonna click select element 2 we're gonna scroll down oh first we need to enable it make sure to check mark that we're gonna scroll down make sure the appearance is on outline we're gonna go down we're gonna make the outline you can make it realistically whatever you'd like I'll make it black we can always change it after you can change the thickness something like that looks good we're actually gonna go back to the first element over here in the gradient Instead of the green, we're going to change it to a nice orange, orange yellow, just like that. We can always lower the shading to whatever you'd want. I'll probably make it something like that. That looks good. After that's done, we're going to scroll down on our video transitions until we reach right over here where it says tunnel of light. So we're going to drag and drop that onto our text file and make sure you're on 1.5 seconds of your clip. So 1 minute 30 milliseconds and just drag the transition up till there. And what you're going to want to do is you want to go down, scroll down until you see the glow gain. You're going to increase the glow gain 2.48 glow size. Make sure you go 21.2 glow red. We're going to make it 1.2 same with everything else and then you just want to wait for it to render as you can see it now has a little vignette in the background while the text is warping what you're going to want to do now is make sure you're 1 minute 30 right after the transition and then what you want to do we're going to animate the text now head to the right side of your screen we're going to keyframe the zoom at one go one minute forward so at two minutes 30 seconds right about there and then change it to 0.5 go to 3 minutes 30 seconds change it back to 1 and then go to 4 minutes 30 seconds and then put it to 0.5 and do this one more time at 5 minutes 30 seconds put it back to 1 and it should look something like this it does the transition and then it zooms in and out for 4, four times what we're going to do is we're going to copy paste this transition right at the end of our text as well and we're gonna fade all of our clips out by 30 frames. To make this easier, you can also zoom in a little bit and then do it, and just like that. Now that we're all done with the animation, we now need a song for the background. But before we put the song, we need to remember to put the overlay like we were talking about. Just drag and drop it into the timeline, make it shorter. Make sure you have the clip selected, scroll down on composite mode and select add make the transparency 45 another thing right before we add the audio is we're gonna add a beat shake right on the right after the transition ends so the music can have a nice impact which i'll show you guys after so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna go down to effects make sure you're at the top of effects just like that adjustment clip drag and drop the adjustment click right right over there right click on it and select open infusion page go to frame number 25 you can use the arrow keys as well or you can type it here 
25 enter go back to the edit tab press ctrl b to cut the clip delete the rest go back in fusion page drag and drop the clean beat shake 25 onto the fusion page once it's there make sure it's attached if it's not just attach the nodes and go back to the edit tab right click on it render cache color output and let it render then what you want to do is drag and drop the audio which i already did find the beat drop which is i think it's around 10 seconds let me just find it and i'll get back to you guys yeah so it's right over here at 10 seconds 50 make sure to bookmark it or you can click m on your keyboard it doesn't matter so what we're gonna do here we want to line it up with the end of the transition so we're gonna go ahead and bring this back like that for now that zoom in so we want to bring it back on this transition when the text is fully zoomed out so make sure the marker is fully lined up with that and then we can drag this back as much as we could we could fade it out by 25 frames just like that and then you can cut the clip or just drag it until the end there we go fade this out by a minute 25 once you're done adding the audio you want to make sure this is all rendered make sure it is all blue not red and then we'll head to the export section to export it name it whatever you like but i'll just name it christmas edit for location make sure you select which folder you want the video to be downloaded in make sure for the format you select mp4 right down here codec and encoder could stay like this for resolution make sure it's 1920 by 1080 hd make sure it is 60 frames per second for quality this really depends how strong your laptop is or pc but me personally i'll just do it to max so just hold down two select enter for keyframes again every 30 frames instead of 30 type one frame so it's the best quality once you're done all that add to render queue and click render all hope that helps you and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more step-by-step -step davinci resolve tutorials in the future